would say then I'm glad you're here because I really need a woman to talk to. Well, aren't you going to say anything? What? You mean because she said that you thought I was going to say something about you not being a woman? That is beneath me, sir. Okay, well, we gotta make Maggie beautiful. Yeah, like that's gonna happen. Shut up, Brighton. Hey, be nicer to your sister. Why, because we're a family? Yes, that's right. And someday your father's gonna be old and sick. You're gonna want him to live with her. Question. When they shot Bambi's mother, did you find that a sad moment? At all? I'm sure she's mounted on a nice wall in a fine home somewhere. Oh, what are you doing here? The sun is up. Niles, just give it a rest. Today is my birthday. You're not gonna get my goat. Why did you two get engaged? <laughs> I have found the perfect subject for our one-person play. Your sex life. <laughs> oh, Niles, I didn't recognize you. Wait, stand in Maxwell's shadow. <laughs> no, like something's burning. Oh, seems to be coming from upstairs. Oh, my God, Yetta! I can't believe she would be smoking in bed. Not after that Circle 7 motel went up in... Never mind. Yetta! Yetta! Stand back. Oh! <gasps> oh, my God! Yetta! What a coincidence. Saul said the same thing not ten minutes ago. <laughs> Well, look, they're making Lost in Space into a movie. Oh, I love that as a child. Oop, I'm dating myself. Uh, dating yourself? That's pathetic. Even you can do better than you. <laughs> this from a man who parties with Pam, as in a can of. Uh, oh, Miss Babcock, you have a little something... Uh... Oh, well, give me that. Yummy. Oh, look, I had them paint on Margot's trademark mall. Isn't it amazing how one bodily imperfection can make someone famous? Oh, then you should be known worldwide. <laughs> You've had sushi before, haven't you, Nanny Fine? Oh, yeah, sure, 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 sure. <laughs> oh, look, samples. That's a little rubbery. You're eating the display. Oh, my God. So, what's the green stuff? It's wasabi. It's like mustard. Gives it a real kick. Ooh, I love mustard. <laughs> Nanny Fine, you've got to help me. You have to get Maxwell to ask me back. <laughs> Fine, you've just got to do this for me. For old time's sake. We go way back. Remember that time you ate the rubber shrimp? <laughs> Gee, you know that mustard really clears up the nasal passage. I like it. <laughs> I wonder how long it's gonna last. What do I have to do to get you to sell me your car? Well, it's a little embarrassing, but would you consider being a workout partner for someone who's trying to get back to a size four? Back to implies she was there once. <laughs> Why would a woman go to such lengths to have a baby? You know, in fact, I was thinking about having one of those operations, but then I thought, mm, what if I marry a wealthy man who insists I produce an heir? Oh, stop deluding yourself. Go ahead and have the vasectomy. <laughs> oh, no. I have such 
a good comeback. But don't you have to go wash your boss's underwear? <laughs> Smith's fine, we'll get it on. No, rip it out. Oh, Mr. Sheffield, I'm so hot. I can't do this standing up. Just, just get on the bed. If you let me tell Miss Babcock about this, I'll work free for a year. I couldn't be happier that Nanny Pine finally found a man. And what are you looking so smug about? Oh, just an incident in Miss Fine's room last night. <laughs> with her and Kurt? No, with her and another man. Oh, I love it. <laughs> tell me, tell me. Oh, no, I couldn't possibly. I swore I wouldn't say a word. Read this. <laughs> There, there. Now, don't do anything rash. Well, I think it's very distasteful of Maxwell to be dating so soon. Isn't a decade the standard period of mourning? Die and let's find out. Hey, look, Aka. What? Is that not what CC stands for? This is what the butler told me. Go see if you can find some bottles. Niles, do we have any old nipples around the house? Hello? Hello? You know, Miss Babcock, with Mr. Sheffield and Miss Fine doing so well, no one would fault you if you went back to the asylum for a little jolt. <laughs> Actually, Niles, I think I'm handling it very well. What? I'm just responding to what you said. I didn't say a word. You didn't say anything. I distinctly heard you say something about the asylum. Are you insinuating that I am in some way... <laughs> that lemon bowl fresh, I smell again. Yes. <laughs> well, it's disgusting. It smells like a men's room. And you'd know. Is this unnatural obsession Maxwell has with his children? <laughs> I can count the number of days I spent with my father on one hand. Seven? <laughs> Yeah, you know, it's funny. <laughs> Thank you very much. No, I mean the fact that I'm really rich and you're cleaning toilets in a suit, a tie, and rubber gloves. Well, you got me that time. Maxwell, darling, is that you? you want me to do. Clap like a chicken. <laughs> what? It turns me on. I'd never do that. We need the eggs. <laughs> Perhaps what you smelled in your apartment was the stench of your decaying youth. <laughs> you know, Niles, I learned something at the place. <laughs> if 220 volts of electricity can't hurt me, 300 pounds of butler sure can't. <laughs> Are you happy to have your little friend home? No, it's all right. <laughs> oh, would you look at how gorgeous this dress is! I wish it came in black. Ow! <laughs> Donna 
our loungewear third floor. Oh, oh, oh. Juju cell on two. Makeovers at our prescriptive's counter. Oh, oh. Raymond, I think you have a problem. Oh, you're not kidding, honey. Look at those animals over there. They're all grabbing at the fake Gucci belts. Sweetie, work with me. Work with me. Oh, help! Help! help. I had shellfish and I'm allergic. Help! help. Grab the belts! The swades, the swades. You're trying to Miss Fine. Oh, Miss Fine. <laughs> So you found the camera. It's fine. <laughs> what happened? Why do you always think something happened? <laughs> Lovely party. <laughs> Maxwell. She started it, sir. I have no idea. <laughs> I mean, the man has a slight five o'clock shadow, but it's not like he's going to a bar mitzvah. Shave him for surgery. Well, where do you want me to shave him? Oh. <laughs> you know, I'll be back in a minute. I have a girl that does a bikini wax. Now. Looking for a raise? There are several topics which are appropriate in any social setting. The weather, current events, literature. I'll take literature for a hundred, Alex. <laughs> what, I shouldn't laugh? If you must, try a soft, breathy <laughs> And close. Fran. Oh my God, Val. Something horrible happened? Oh, God, Fran, I'm so sorry. <gasps> Somebody died? Somebody famous? Danny. Danny Thomas, Danny K. <gasps> Danny Bonaducci! <laughs> oh, and he was so young. Who would have thought that he would have gone before Reuben Kincaid? <laughs> Fran, I'm talking about Danny Imperiali, your ex fiance Oh, him. Well, when you gotta go, you gotta go. <laughs> He didn't die. He's getting married. No! No! <laughs> <laughs> 